here in Raleigh. Dom Fritton will get us started here. First one's outside, 1-0. Um, certainly don't want to miss too far in. He finished fourth in doubles last year. Has rung up on a low strike from Dom Fritton, who records his first of the day. Sitting on the off speed, but reacting to the fastball. Two hopper to the first baseman. Garrett Pennington is there. We'll flip it over to Dom Fritton. Record the first, record the third out. And Souls hits one well on the first pitch. Has some drive out to the wall, and it's out of here. Noah Souls on the first pitch of NC State's offensive efforts. Sends one over the right field wall. And what a way to start the offensive side of things for NC State. Noah Souls, all it took was one pitch. Yeah, holy cow, he turned on that one, didn't he? <laughs> it was a moonshot, um, but he, he did a great job uh, keeping his hands in, turning on a little bit of an inside pitch and, and taking it out over that right field wall. Pretty left-sided stroke there from Noah Souls. No chance. Kozar worked the count full and then puts one by the second baseman for a base hit. That's a sturdy piece of hitting there from the catcher. You know, it's got to be good. You certainly don't want to make a, a bad swing at a 3-0 pitch. Takes a better swing at this one. It chases out into right field, and it's out of here. Makarovic joins in on the first inning homer party. High and away, and man, he got a hold of that one. Uh, you know, <laughs> we, we just talked about him making a big impact early, and I think uh, he's he's going to become a, a household name here in, in Wolfpack country this year. Uh, interesting ECU transfer not far down the road and, and one of the hated non-conference rivals of the Wolfpack, but uh, on, on the, the Wolfpack side of it now, and uh, like I said, certainly making an impact here in, in the second day. And what a way to start this first inning for NC State. They go up three to nothing. And it's hit well out into left field, and it is up and out of here. Cooper Benson shows some extra base power and gets it started for VCU. And as soon as it came off the bat, you figured it had an idea, this time over the left field wall. And VCU has broken the ice here, 3-1 NC State lead, but VCU battling back here in the third inning. Yeah, he came off his bat on the line, uh, but he really got a hold of it and got under it just enough to sneak it over that left field wall. Uh, and, and Benson, a guy, uh, you talk about three seniors at the bottom of their lineup, uh, a, a mainstay that you know the coaching staff at VCU will, will rely on a lot to approach. Let's just come in and be ready. And he sends another one out to right field. This one has a little bit of carry on to it. And this one's in the same spot. Back to back home runs for Noah Souls. Sees an extra pitch this time, but sends it to the same spot. Noah Souls pushes the lead out to 4 1. And that is how you want your lead off to step up and make a difference. Yeah, what's that, four pitches and two home runs? <laughs> Pretty high success rate, but at, at no, Noah Souls being a guy, this this coaching staff and this Wolfpack lineup is really going to rely on, similar to the last one, a little bit lower pitch, but, uh, you know, inside nonetheless and, and really turned on it. In the cases of Noah Souls, sometimes when you get the first or second pitch, you're going to drive it, and that's exactly what's happened with this one. Pennington puts it in the left field and is on, changes history there. Very sweet pitch. Holds off on one outside, wasn't quite able to find the spot. After three straight off speed. Sosa deposits it into the outfield and it gets down in time. They'll send home a runner coming home and he's in safe. What a great piece of hitting, an important time for NC State. Garrett Pennington got on his high horse coming around second base and Alex Sosa Deposits one into the outfield for an RBI. Hey, you saw uh, saw Erickson calling for that one up. Uh, you know, a good good follow up pitch and and uh, as as you you're looking to get a, a high up a high fastball at that point um, to follow up that off speed low, he just didn't quite get it high enough. A good head start and may be able to come around all the way, but Ooh. took that one off the back of the ankle, I believe. Could fool him with an off speed. Everybody moving, 3-2, Nixon puts it into the outfield, going to be a tough tweener play for both of the outfielders, lays out and makes the catch. Ethan Ianuzzi saves a for sure couple of runs there. Probably going to have to get him to chase something here. 
It's put on the ground. Two hopper over to third base. That's Makarevich who's going to have to get it over quickly. He bobbled it. It's overthrown or underthrown rather to Garrett Pennington. He'll take off towards second base. Throw not in time. And Ike is on second after an error over at first base. Yeah, I, I think uh, probably just third base. This one is tapped lightly up the middle. Stretching over to make the play is Brandon Butterworth. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Hit to the second baseman. That'll be Matt Hevner who makes the play, but a run will score for VCU, and that's a great outcome in that A-B. A little bit biased uh, having, having pitched here myself, but good retro look. That one will drop down for a base hit. He he Hevner thought about going towards second base, but it was retrieved quickly by the VCU outfield. It's one of those, you know, he may be setting up an away pitch. Yeah, low and away missed, if more than anything else. And Kozart finds one that he wants to hit, puts it into the outfield, and it's the center fielder, Cooper Benzen, who's underneath to make the play. Pin now, but probably more preparation than anything. First pitch is screamed down the first baseline, or excuse me, the third baseline. Jake Tilgis is going for two here as it's still in the corner. Eventually, the relay does come in. That's exactly how you needed to start off if you're VCU. Waste no time with that first pitch. Great job by Fredden. This one's hit well, and it'll be a base hit out into the outfield. Cooper Benson deposits it into left field. They'll wave home the runner for VCU and in safely at home to bring the lead closer for VCU. That's Jake Tilgis who comes around from second, and Cooper Benson has himself another RBI in this game. Yeah, that narrowing the lead to two. Uh, and the, the important thing about this play, uh, you know, Lefty makes a or lefty left fielder brought in a good throw, uh, but a little bit of miscommunication between Makarevich and Sosa here. I'm um, trying to cut this ball off, and it actually squirted to the backstop. So uh, we've we've got uh, now another runner on second, another runner in scoring position for VCU. Runner in scoring position. 1-0 pitch is deposited into the outfield. They're going to hold the runner here at third this time. Buckle down here. And that will fill the bases here. Kind of a pick your poison, like you said. Whitaker loads up on the 2-2. Ike puts it into play. Shallow center field. Serrano's going to step up onto it here. Cooper Benzen will tag up. Serrano with the throw towards home. Is it in time? Not quite. So the sack fly brings it even closer here for VCU. Straight back up the middle. Whitaker can't quite come up with it, and they'll wave home the runner. This is Brandon Ike, who's going to be home safe to play at third. Not in time. VCU has tied this one up in the top of the fifth. What a massive spot for Aiden Hill. Logan Whitaker didn't have a chance as it was screamed right back where it came from, and VCU able to plate the run that ties this one up. Yeah, another, another good decision by Serrano, though. I, I, trying to go for third there, certainly not going for home after the bobble, but um, just throw just a little bit late. It'll be up to him to see what he can do. One, two pitch. Is it going to drop in the outfield? It is. It's over the head of Brandon Butterworth, and VCU is going to look to send home two, and they do so successfully. A seven to five lead here at the Doak for VCU. And Chris McHugh, another RBI to his tally. Two more to bring a total of three for him today. A great piece of hitting uh, in on his hands, but able to, to be strong enough to fight it over the shortstop. A great job getting his hands inside and, and plating two of his teammates. A, a fantastic opportunity there. Probably back to a fastball. Change up. Big swing and a miss there from Whitaker. Does eventually retire the final batter. 0-2 pitch, hit well by Havner, backing up on it is the left fielder, Ian Uzzi, and he's not going to be able to get on to it. Matt Havner, two home runs in two days, inches this game closer, and it's 7-6 to six VCU after Havner's solo shot. What a hit, though, from Hevner. Just took that one out and sent it out into left field. Got all the barrel onto it. And just picks up where he left off. Yeah, it looked like a breaking ball. Um, he was he was probably sitting on it uh, to, to get that good of a swing on it. Fatter of a leg kick on that last pitch. 
than what we've seen. This one's laid down by Casey Kleinman. The throw over to first. Is it in time? Not quite. A few seconds before he goes over, um, he might he might come set and immediately deliver and just mix it up. Ike hits this one well, backtracking to the wall. It's Serrano, it's over the wall. Brandon Ike puts one over the wall in center and VCU gives themselves some insur insurance here in the top of the seven. There's a reason he's the conference player of the year preseason. I mean, you talk about a guy, we we're mentioning the transfer portal. Guy that started out at UNC Chapel Hill, uh, just just was stuck behind some guys uh, and, and didn't get much playing time, but has really opened up his opportunities here uh, to, to expand his collegiate career. And look at this on, on the big stage back at, a, at an ACC school. I would imagine, yeah, look at where the catcher's setting up. Something tailing away. And that's exactly what happened. The shortstop who is in the shift there in time to make the play. Kading, and you just got to see it all the way in. Serrano, big whiff on that previous pitch. Owen Tappy gets himself another strikeout, but the VCU dugout is loud. They're the loudest ones here in the building in Raleigh. This is a two-hopper to the shortstop. William Bean will push it over, and VCU secures it.